And since our phone interview with Wilson, he's reached out to Rochelle and our newsroom saying he would give an in-person interview and new information if we paid him. One of the things we do at Fox 4 is we're transparent about our priority reporting. We don't do any backroom deals, so we want you to know what happened. We said no. And tonight, four in your corners, Rochelle Elaine is live outside the Lee County Jail where Wilson's in a cell tonight to explain why. Rochelle? You know, Jane and Patrick, that decision was a pretty easy one for us to make here at Fox 4. In my piece tonight, you're actually going to hear and see some of the messages that Wade Wilson sent me over the last few days. You're also going to hear from an FGCU journalism professor who helped to break down the ethics behind our decision. Take a listen. It started with one on Saturday. And then the email started to flood in. When those went unanswered, phone calls. All of them from Wade Wilson, the man now charged in the deaths of Diane Ruiz and Christine Melton. The Lee County Grand Jury met today and returned an indictment against Wilson for two counts of first degree premeditated murder. I spoke to him on the phone on Friday. He claimed he was innocent then, but did admit to being with both Ruiz and Melton in the hours before their deaths. I did not commit these murders and I'm innocent. Fox 4 spoke with Wilson's ex-girlfriend who has also told us that he has admitted to those crimes. He admitted over the phone to me that he murdered, killed both of those women. His frenzy of messages since then have all said the same thing. He wanted to talk to me, to Fox 4, and to share something, quote, career making, but he wanted to be paid for that information. I told him I wasn't interested. He has since threatened to bring that offer to another news agency. Journalists face murky ethical decisions all the time, but this isn't one of them. Um, checkbook journalism is pretty much frowned on whoever you talk to. FGCU journalism professor Lynn Milner says there are very strict and rare circumstances under which journalists would ever pay for information. If it is going to do the public serious, serious, serious harm if they if you do not run with it and if you can if you can corroborate it. In this case, the decision was an easy one because it aligns with the ethics we practice here every single day, which include the following. You want to be uh, able to act independently. Remember that you serve the public. You don't serve a source or uh, anyone other than the public, right? You're there for the public good. Uh, you want to minimize harm. And in light of today's new charges, I reached out to Wade to see if he still stood by those claims he made on Friday. He told me he will not answer any more of my questions unless Fox 4 management pays up, and that's not going to happen. In Fort Myers, Rochelle Aline, Fox 4, in your corner.